somebody asked me a question on my uh, on my gear pods video, uh, Mike Johnson, and he wanted to know uh, what my more about my background and why I became a survivalist. So I thought it would just be easier to answer him in a video. So I assume when he says my background, I'm not sure if he means. I guess I just always love nature and outside. Um, as a single mom of five kids, I guess I feel like a survivalist in a, in a way. It hasn't been easy doing it by myself. So I've had to learn to be very independent. To Like if there's something need to be done around the house, I had to figure out a way to do it myself. You know, even just to, to make something work, to Mickey Mouse something. You know, I didn't even I didn't even always have somebody to like exchange opinions with or get advice from. So I guess I feel that's made me kind of a fighter. It's made me kind of a survivalist in that way. Um, you know, you throw in the nature and outdoors and all that. That's something I've always loved to do, camping and everything. So I guess I've grown to be very independent and I like that and I feel like I want to be able to to handle myself in all situations. So if there was ever a survival situation, I want to be able to know what to do and to have, to be prepared. So I'm still new to it. I mean, I haven't had to survive in a, you know, an emergency situation. So it's kind of, it's not like you have experience of doing that typically, unless you've, you know, had, had some type of emergency thing happen to you. So I guess just uh, I came upon it watching YouTube and how to be prepared for any situation in, in the woods or whatever, especially. I guess my tendency would be to just retreat to the woods because that's where I'm comfortable, take my kids and go in, in something like, you know, say if there was just some unrest in, in the city, I, the town that I lived in or whatever, and just wait it out. So it just comes from wanting to be prepared for any situation. Well, the most, the best that I can be. No, I did get rid of a lot of my, a lot of the gear that I had because I just simply am not going to have room for it in the van. So that's why I like the gear pods because it's just a very small little thing that I can stick, I keep under my seat. And at least I have something, you know, and I also will, when I'm traveling, I will have my backpacking backpack. So obviously I can live with that because I've done it before. So hope that answers your question. If not, uh, leave a comment and I'll see what else I can do. All right. Thanks. Take care.